Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Liam Douglas with Liam Photography, and in this video I'm doing an unboxing review, without the box, <laughs> of the Platypod Extreme Tripod. This is the latest edition of the Platypod Flat Plate Tripod. So, I forgot to put it back in the original box, so I apologize, but we have the carrying pouch, and then of course inside you have the Platypod Extreme, and then you have your little caution card with tips and all that good stuff, a little QR code that you can scan to get information from the website. And then in a little back pouch area, if I can get to it here, there is inside a Platypod carabiner, an official Platypod one. So pretty cool. That gives your carabiner, if you want to attach it via carabiner to your bag or your belt or anything like that. Now, this here is my previous Platypod, the Max, and I have two of the Max Platypod tripods, and I absolutely love them. And you can see they have the four holes in each of the four corners for the spiked feet. And then you have a couple of accessory ports here um, for whatever you want to use them for. And then you have the belt straps here, so you can strap it to a tree or something. You've got your tripod mounting screw right here, the quarter 20, and then you have a hole here so you can mount it on a upright tripod if you wanted to. So let's compare this, and this is the Extreme. And as you can see, it's got a lot more accessory ports. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is on the Platypod Extreme, the feet are permanently attached, and they pull out, swivel, and then lock back into place, which is extremely handy and convenient keeps you from running the risk of losing the feet. And I'm not saying this to be mean or anything. I'm, I, I'm grateful for the upgrade they made on this one. But on the Max, the feet were stored here. And they just slid out, and then you screwed them into their appropriate holes, like so. Uh, but the problem with that is, when you stowed them back in these little sleeves, they could sometimes fall out. And there's been a couple of times where I almost lost these little feet. Of course, you can buy spare ones. But still, uh, it's a matter of convenience, I guess you could say. Um, as far as that goes. So getting back to the Platypod Extreme, we have this open slot at the top that you can use for pretty much anything. And then we have some smaller holes at the top where you could put additional items, feet or whatever. And to demonstrate here, I have a couple of uh, Platypod accessories that I recently bought. And I'm gonna show you here. So let me pop the little rubber bands off these two. These are the Platypod Goosenecks that can be used for mounting loom cubes or some other type of cube lights to your Platypod um, for a macro setup with little lights and stuff like that. So as you see that, they'll screw right into these two front ports here on the front of the Extreme once I get it lined up there. Come on, there we go. And these are nice little gooseneck arms that can be bent, shaped, or whatever you have it, however you have it, you can bend them out like this. You know, so you can position the lights different ways just to dem demonstrate here. And then I also have one of these little adjustable arms as well that Platypod sells. These are really awesome and can hold items as well, which is pretty cool and clever. And uh, one knob that loosens up on the side here loosens everything. So it loosens this knuckle joint. It loosens this top part and the screw at the bottom part as well. So we can just take this. And we can screw this into, whoops, let me get the right port here. Uh, I seem to be hitting the wrong spot. Let me see here. I thought I had this lined up before. Let me check it out here. Nope, I guess not. Let me see. Maybe it's this one. It might be. Yep, there we go. Okay, so then you can have all three of these pieces mounted on here at the same time for different needs. You could use uh, this one for the square jellyfish uh, jellyfish smartphone mount and use these for your loom cubes or Lytro torches. Um, I have the Lytro torches, which are very much similar to loom cubes, about the same size and everything, and around the same price. Um, and then, of course, we have two holes on the bottom for carabiner ports. We have some more round holes at the bottom for accessories. We have our quarter 20, when I pull the rubber boot off, tripod mount screw right here. And then of course we have our smaller one down here for other accessories as well. So as you can see, this actually has a lot more ports to it than the Platypod Max or Platypod Ultra, which are the pre or the Platypod Pro, which were the three previous generations or editions of the Platypods. Um, so extremely handy, even more handy than previous models with all the additional ports and uses. You have these closed ports 
for a belt strap and then you have these open slotted ports that you could also use for straps like if you wanted to strap your platypod with your camera on it to like a tree to do time lapse or something like that you could easily do that as well so let me take my well let me put the feet back here we'll put them back in their flipped position their folded end we'll put them back that way just to make things a little more convenient and they do have i should have showed you this they do have little rubber boots on them that cover the spikes now be careful of these spikes because they are extremely sharp and don't use the platypod on a table or desk or something like that unless you keep the rubber feet on protective feet on here or it will scratch up the surface those those are pretty wicked sharp points there because they're made to dig into like tree bark and the earth and stuff like that to anchor the platypod extreme all right so now i'm going to take my platyball ergo and i'm going to put it on here just like so and i've got that on there and now i can grab my trusty one of my trusty XT4s with the XF23 millimeter, which is 35 millimeter full frame equivalent lens for like street photography or landscapes or anything like that. And then of course, I just lock it down, turn till I hear uh, all the clicks are done and you can see it's locked in and ready to go. So now I can, we can take this out and I'll do a couple of shots with it today. The weather's kind of cold and windy today, being we're getting into the winter months, but I'll take it out and I'll shoot some shots um, with this uh, Platypod Extreme and my X-T4, and I'll include them in the video so that you can see them for yourself. Okay, so as you can see now, I'm out here on one of the docks over the lake at uh, Mayo Lake here in uh, Person County, North Carolina, not far from my home, and I have my Platyball Ergo on the Platypod Extreme with my X-T4 and the 23 millimeter, and if I wanna get a little more height here, I can just turn and lock the spiked feet and set them up the way I want them. I'm going to do that real quick right now. There we go. There we go. And then I can set it on the feet. And there we have it. So we've got it raised just a little bit so we can get a nice shot here on the boat dock. And the dock is rocking a little bit. So the horizon's not going to be perfectly level, unfortunately. But there's not a whole lot I can do about that. The water's a little choppy today. But we got ourselves a nice wide shot looking out over the lake from these uh, wooden boat docks here at Mayo Lake in Roxboro, North Carolina. Okay, so as you can see now, I'm out here in a local field and I've got my XT4 set up on the Platypod Extreme with the Platyball Ergo. And I'm going to get a shot of this piece of John Deere farm equipment here. I apologize for the traffic noise, but I'm close to the road here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get us a shot of this. I'm going to tilt it just a little bit to level things up. Let me get a focus lock here. And then we'll level it up a little bit and we'll get our shot. And we'll include that shot in the video itself. So as you can see, the Platypod Extreme is extremely handy. I got the little spikes out. And I've got them dug into the field here, into the soil, so that the whole thing is nice and stable, as you can see. And it just works beautifully. I absolutely love these platypod flat tripods. And the Extreme is definitely the next iteration, the next generation, the next improvement to the overall design. And I seriously thank Dr. Larry Tiefenbrunn and his team for coming up with another fantastic product. All right, so wrapping up this review of the Platypod Extreme Flat Tripod, I want to thank you for watching this video, and I also want to thank Dr. Larry Tiefenbrunn and the team at Platypod for always innovating and coming up with great new advancements to the Platypod Flat Tripod line. I really appreciate that. They've had the Platypod Pro, which was the original, then the Ultra, and the Max, and now the Extreme. And as you can see, the Extreme is very versatile, even more so than the previous generations, and it's an absolute delight to use out in the field. Now, I did cut short a little bit my shooting out in the field today because it's really cold out, the wind's blowing, and when I shot that piece of John Deere equipment, I didn't realize before I got there and perched myself that the ground was still wet, so I got my backside soaked. <laughs> so I came back home to change clothes before shooting this last segment here, closing out this video. All right, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, there's a 20% discount code that's good until the end of 2022. 
it's NL20 and I'll have it down below in the description of this video. That will give you 20% off on anything that's Platypod name brand products on the platypod.com website. So it doesn't apply to the square jellyfish mount, it doesn't apply to the loom cubes, but anything that's a Platypod name brand product you'll get 20% off on from now until the end of 2022. So that's the Platypod Ultra, the Platypod Extreme, the Platyball Ergo, the Platyball uh, Elite, any of those products, any of the bundle kits that are Platypod, any of that stuff that's Platypod name brand, you'll get the 20% off on from now until the end of December. All right, that's going to wrap up all this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, like it, share it out on social media, and hit the little bell icon so you can be notified as new content drops. And I will see you all next time.